And keeping you safe, plastic surgeons are working overtime in Arizona these days, but it's not for the sake of sheer vanity. The CDC finds the number of skin cancer cases is climbing in the U.S., and that means more reconstructive surgery to fix scars left behind after doctors remove the cancer. But Team 12's Ryan Cody is showing us why it's more than just an increase in cases. Ryan? Yeah, some of it also has to do with the average age of those surviving skin cancer, people in their 30s and 40s, young professionals where appearance matters, maybe more so than patients in their 60s and 70s. These scars can be tough to look at, which is why plastic surgery is a popular option. Dr. David Kelly is a busy plastic surgeon. There's no real kind of downtime. There's no kind of summer vacation, it seems like. But not from performing your typical cosmetic surgeries. More people are getting screened for it, and so we're seeing a lot more skin cancer, especially in younger patients as they're coming in. They're getting diagnosed in their 30s and 40s. The CDC is expecting more than 80,000 new cases of skin cancer in the United States this year, up 50% from just two decades ago. Pretty good increase and in significant portion of the population is Arizona higher than the national average. Yes, yeah, it's one of the one of the higher states, obviously, with the amount of sun exposure, the amount of sunny days we have. Cancer removal procedures are leaving survivors with very visible holes in places like their nose and lips. And as patients get younger, the need for cosmetic cancer treatment grows. They're still working, so they're worried about showing up to work um, in the next day or two. So they're a lot more kind of aware of their appearance as they're going out. But Dr. Kelly says the social media generation we live in also plays a role. I've had multiple patients just, you know, talk about how they're always taking selfies, they're always looking at their cameras. These younger patients are looking at, looking at themselves in the camera a lot more often. So turning this into this is becoming a much higher priority than in years past. But it's not all vain. In fact, an increase in patients might be a good sign. So I think we're screening those patients earlier on, so we're catching the skin cancer earlier. And Dr. Kelly says these numbers will continue to grow and grow as more and more people move to sunny places like Arizona and Nevada, which are two of the fastest growing states in the nation. We're live in Studio 12A, Ryan Cody, 12 News at 10.